Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mount Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find the mean, standard deviation, and variance of a Poisson distribution. Here's our problem statement. Last year, a person wrote 128 checks. Let the random variable x represent the number of checks he wrote in one day, and assume that it has a Poisson distribution. What is the mean number of checks written per day? What is the standard deviation? What is the variance? Okay, to solve this problem, we first need to identify the mean. The mean number of checks written per day is going to be the total number of checks written divided by the total number of days we have in the interval for our Poisson distribution. Here in the problem statement, it says that the interval is a full year. And here we've got the total number of checks is 128. So all I need to do is take my calculator, take the total number of checks, and divide it by the total number of days in a year, which for these problems that you're going to be doing here throughout this course is going to be 365 days, unless you're specifically told to use a different number of days for the year. You'll always use 365. So there's the mean number of checks written per day and I mashed around to three decimal places. Good job! Now the next part of this problem asks for the standard deviation. For Poisson distribution, the standard deviation is simply the square root of the mean. So I've got the mean value still on my calculator here, so all I do is press my square root button, and there is my standard deviation. Again, I'm asked around to three decimal places. Good job. And finally, we're asked to find the variance. The variance, by definition, is the standard deviation squared. Well, when I square this number, which I got from taking the square root of this number, I'm just going to get this number back. If you don't believe me, I'll just go ahead and square the number left here in my calculator. And you see I got the number I started off with. So the variance is going to be equal to the mean for a Poisson distribution. Again, I'm asked around to three decimal places. Excellent! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com. You can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.